This video shows a pin-ended slender column being tested in compression. The specimen is a rectangular hollow section made of structural steel. The length has been chosen such that the failure is dominated by buckling instability. This is primarily a geometric effect. The loading diagram shows a compressive force evenly applied to both ends of the specimen. The testing rig is now starting to apply a compressive force to the specimen. We can see the top end displacing and the column begins to deflect sideways as a result of a structural instability which is better known as buckling. The profile of the column as it buckles is theoretically a half sine wave. The sideways deflection grows as the rig presses down on the specimen. Now, if we release the load on the column, let's see what happens. We can see that the column returns to its original undeformed shape demonstrating that the buckling of a slender column is elastic. The graph initially shows a linear relationship between force and displacement. Up to this point, the column has not begun to displace sideways. Once the buckling instability is triggered, however, the slope re effectively reduces to zero. As the load is removed, the graph approximately reverses along its original path, because this behaviour is almost entirely elastic, but there is evidence of a tiny amount of energy lost due to permanent deformation at mid-span. In this case, however, there is no significant energy loss due to heat, and that the process is basically reversible. 